My brother and I are huge baseball fans. We love the sport of baseball. We follow the players, teams, stats, anything to do with the MLB. Some of my most memorable moments from my childhood came from baseball. Kerry Wood's 20 strikeouts, the 89 World Series, the Marlins upsetting the Indians in the series, Joe Carter's October home run, Griffey's debut, Nolan Ryan's beatdown, the strike, the home run chase, and of course, the Iron Man himself. These moments were big deals to us, and the MLB was a big part of growing up and our childhood. My brother got really sick with cancer, but was still a big fan. You see, the larger-than-life players and games were something for him to look forward to watching and following from a hospital bed. Matthew was a huge Griffey fan, and in the 90s, it didn't get much better than the kid. And that ball is belted! That may be in the upper deck! Fly away, way over the hard rock of fame! My, oh my, what a shot by Junior! The Mariners get three more, and you can hear the buzz here at the Sky Dome. In 1998, we traveled to Denver, Colorado to see the Home Run Derby and All-Star Game. Matthew was in a wheelchair, but more of a fan than ever. Griffey was slated to appear in the Home Run Derby, but pulled out because he didn't want to mess up his swing the year of the Home Run Chase. My brother was crushed. He was so disappointed that his idol was not going to participate. But for some reason, at the last minute, Griffey decided to jump back in. Griffey won the Home Run Derby with that signature smile, sweet swing, and backwards hat. I'm not sure Matthew could have beamed any more or been any more excited. It was one of the absolute highlights of his life. Then. Four months later, Matthew passed away. Along with my parents, I experienced a lot of mourning and depression. My parents thought it would be a good idea for us to take a baseball trip the following summer as a family, a sort of therapy, you could say. We hit 13 stadiums in Cooperstown in one swoop. We laughed, we cried, we memorialized Matthew, but throughout the trip, the MLB was there for us and saving us along the way. Throughout the years, we have continued to follow the MLB and travel to stadiums. It's our continual therapy and remembrance of Matthew. Fast forward to this year, 2016. My brother Matthew would have turned 30 years old mid-July, and being the milestone that it is, we wanted to do something special as a family to celebrate, but weren't sure what to do. Then the announcement came that Griffey was to be inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame the same week as Matt's birthday. We knew it was no coincidence and instantly knew where we were headed. The trip was a cross-country memorial pilgrimage to Cooperstown, New York, in an RV with my parents, my wife and I, and our two kids. A week-long celebration and memorial for Matthew. We laughed, we cried, but yet again the MLB was there for us and was therapy for our family. We were able to share our story with people along the trip and several people sitting around us at the induction ceremony. All I can say is baseball fans are the greatest in the world and the MLB is the greatest league. Thank you so much for being there for us, baseball. I'm looking forward to years of memories with my kids. For making this kid's dream come true.